boys and girls, it's time for calendar again. Um, yesterday we uncovered the Monday because the um, the marker for Monday, and then today we are going to um, do Tuesday. So um, let's start with our days of the week song. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's my stick. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Again, when you're finished, boys and girls, there is a folder or a topic in the classwork tab in our Google Classroom that has some activities for you to do. So when we're finished with this part of the calendar, if you'd like to go choose an activity like counting, or sorry, <laughs> um, talking about September, the month of September, there's a video in there that talks about what makes it so special um, and how many days are in each month. That's a good one. So um, feel free to do that. So let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Remember, whisper to your hand. What's the number, boys and girls? Fifteen. Good. Now let's take a look at the um, pattern. This is a, how about we do colors today? That would be a good thing to do. Um, we can only just do it to there and then these change colors. So we're just going to stick with, um, <laughs> we'll just stick with the shapes. This is a circle, rectangle, triangle, square. It's a real life object that is a circle, rectangle, triangle, square. Circle, rectangle. Rectangle, triangle, square. Circle, rectangle. Hmm. Circle, rectangle, triangle. Yes, and it's going to be a real life object because we have real life, real life, and then until we finish the pattern, so if it's a triangle, we have to have a triangle and a square with the real life objects before it starts being the. Um, the colored shapes again. So look around your room, boys and girls. See if you see anything in real life that's shaped like a triangle. Hmm. Boy, I don't know. You want to see what it is? Hey, here it comes. <gasps> it's pretty much the same thing as that pendant that that's on the calendar before it. It's like a banner with some triangles on it. Um, so today, boys and girls, is Tuesday, and we know that because it's in the Tuesday column. Tuesday, September 15th, 2020. Um, so now we're going to do the other part of our calendar. So we know that yesterday we've been in school for two days. And then I'm going to add another star. Oh, I'm add another star to our chart. And look how I'm going in order. I'm adding them to the top row of my calendar, or my 10 frame first. And then I'll know that there are five. And then I'll start adding to the bottom part of my 10 frame. Okay, we've been in school for three days. We need to add to our clip collection. Yesterday, we've been in school for two days. We have two clips. Now I'm going to add another clip. So we have one, two, three. How many days have we been in school? That's a question mark. So my voice goes up when I read it. School, one, two, three days. Hmm, I wonder what kind of weather we had today. So when I got to work, it was really early in the morning, and it was still sort of smoggy and cloudy. So I think I'm going to color in another one of these blue boxes for the cloudy day. Now, if you look out the window, 
and it's not cloudy anymore, then you can go ahead and color in. If you think it's sunny, you could, or if it looks sunny out to you, you could color that one. If it looks like there's some sun and some clouds, you could color in the partly cloudy one. Or, I heard that it was going to rain. If it's raining, you could fill in that one. Can you see that? It might be off your screen a little bit. So now, when we look at my weather graph, we can tell that there's been more cloudy days than sunny days because there is two of the squares that are colored in in the cloudy column and only one in the sunny. Okay, go ahead and enjoy one of those videos, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.